Science Beetle. Welcome back. So in this video, I want to go ahead and talk to you about how we modify items within a list. So let's go ahead and start by declaring a list here. So let's call it here my underscore list. And I'll say uh, assign some values here. Let's open it up. You have to begin with brackets inside the list. Let's go ahead and modify some items. Let's just say here in single quotes, let's say one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the number or the letter the number two. Let's, actually, let's do this example. Let's go ahead and put all text in here. And so we'll put here um, car. Okay, let's go to another value. Let's call this one cat. Uh, and then let's just throw in a name here. And let's say, um, put this in single quotes. And we'll just say here, um, Regina. And let's say that we want to have these items printed to the console. So let's go ahead and put here in line seven, let's go ahead and put a print command, open and close it inside, put the name of the list that you want to print to the console. So let's put that my list, make sure it's spelled correctly. Let's go ahead and clear the console and let's go ahead and run it. We should see all of our items displayed, which we do see here on the right hand side. Let's go ahead and clear out some stuff here. But if we want to make sure that we print out certain values in the list and we want to make sure that, for example, here in line five, we've got values that are in lowercase. But what if I want to print out an individual value from that list in uppercase? We can do that. Now, there is a way to do this so you can do them all at once. But we'll explore that concept when we start doing uh, some looping in a later video. Right now, we're going to focus on looking at capitalizing or modifying individual values within the list. So here what we would do is we would then bring in here the specific position or the specific value we wish to uh, modify. In this case, I'm after the word one as the string and that's in the zero position. So I'll put a bracket, I'll put a zero and that means I'm gonna be modifying that one. Now if I stop here and press run, I'm only gonna print off the word one, okay? But if I want to modify this here, let's go ahead and copy the code so you can see the difference copy here and I'm going to put that in line number eight but this time right after the bracket now that I've identified the zero as the position that I wish to modify I can actually put a function I'm going to go ahead and put the dot followed by the function in this case here I'm going to put upper and open and close parentheses and then this particular function will take everything in the zero position value and convert that to uppercase now this is only going to work on strings so in this case it should work notice the outputs here Notice the output at the very top here on the right hand side, the O and E in lowercase, is because all I did in line seven was print it out to the console. In line number eight, I told the compiler here or the interpreter, go ahead and print out whatever is in position zero of my list, but convert it to capital letters. And that's what's happened here. Right. So let's go ahead and modify our original string here in my list. Let's go ahead and make Regina here. Let's kind of change this all the way to capital letters. So let's go put Regina. And just to show you that we can go the other way here, if I go ahead and put here in line number nine, open up another uh, print command, print open my underscore list. This time I want to print Regina, but I don't want it to print as capital letters. I want it to be lowercase. So I could either reference it using the 0, 1, 2, 3 position, or I can say the negative 1 position. Let's go ahead and use negative 1. And then I'm going to go outside the brackets and put dot lower. Open and close parentheses. And if I run that, notice what's going to happen here. Let me go ahead and comment out uh, line 7 and line 8 so that we don't see that. Clear the shell. And then let's run it now. Notice here, instead of printed out, printing out Regina, uh, in capital letters, the way it's printed out there, it's being printed off in lowercase. Now, what if I wanted to print this out instead of having the uh, word lowercase, maybe I am interested in maybe capitalizing the very first letter. So with that, let's go ahead and eliminate here uh, line number nine. And let's go back to line number eight. Let's uncomment it. And then here, instead of saying upper, what we could do is we can say, I would like the first letter of of this particular value at position zero, which is one, instead of it being lowercase, let's make it that the first letter is capitalized. In other words, the way you would see it in a title. So we would put title, 
and then open close parentheses, which we've already got typed in there. Close the parentheses that belongs to the print function. And then if you go ahead and run it, notice the, the word that's going to be printed here is going to be O-N-E, but with the capital O. And that's exactly what we've got there. And just to show you the difference, let's go ahead and copy and paste this value here. In line 8, let's take off the dot title function to it. And then you can see the printout for yourself. One is capitalized. The other one is not. The second printout here, O-N-E with a capital O, corresponds to the printout that uh, is coming from, from the command coming from line number 9. So these are three ways that we can actually modify values inside a list. You can either capitalize the title by using the dot title function. You can capitalize all of the characters in a string at a very specific position by using dot upper function. Or you can take a capital, uh, a name or a string that has been capitalized all the way through and you can reduce that to a lowercase uh, spelling of that particular variable that uh, value that is in there by using the dot lower function. So hopefully those three functions can help you modify your code. Continue to learn with us as we continue to explore here Python. Hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Catch you then.